it's TX Stamp and Sharon. I am going to be bringing you some tips and tricks while using the Stamparatus and making some really fast cards. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, you can do so below. After you subscribe, hit that little bell, you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. If you like this idea and these tips, give me a thumbs up. I'm so glad we're stamping friends. I love that sentiment. I love the concept of these quick, easy note cards. And I loved using my Stamparatus to line up those two-step stamping. We're gonna be stamping some easy little note cards with the envelopes. I love these note cards. They're nice quality. You can crank out a ton of these, especially using the Stamparatus. I'm using my, one of my favorite stamp sets called Incredible Like You. I love the bold sentiments. We're gonna be using So Glad We're Friends today. I've got a few friend cards I need to send out. Um, and we're gonna be using some of these other stamps in here. But what I found when I was trying to line up these two, just using my blocks, and these two using my blocks, I was struggling. I found pulling out my Stamparatus made this so much easier. So let me show you my tricks. First, you can get um, pads of the paper to put on your Stamparatus. It helps when you're stamping off the card and everything. These come in a little pad like this. Tons of paper in there um, that is available through Stampin' Up. Whenever you have your magnets, um, keep them apart from each other. I've done some videos before on the Stamparatus. I'll try to link those here so you can watch my other tips. Um, but these magnets are super, super strong and they will crack. They're a natural magnet, which I never knew there was such a thing. I found by just wrapping mine in duct tape and leaving a little tail allowed me to be able to pick up the magnets easier than trying to pick it up with my nails. So that's why mine are multicolored. You can get replacement magnets through Stampin' Up. So if you happen to break them, don't worry. The reason I liked using the grid paper is because I wanted to stamp my flower in the very corner and I was struggling with the hinge. The hinge, um, just depending on how close you get to it. So technically if you put the card up, uh, jutted up in the corner, um, because of how close I wanted my flower and my leaves, I was struggling. So I thought, use the grid paper, use the line, so I moved it out and added my magnets, okay? So that's gonna hold my paper in place. Oh, by the way, I do have, let me show you, the black foam that comes with it because these stamps are photopolymer. I need that cushion to get some good images. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to line up one of my flowers, and then I'm just gonna pick it up with my hinge. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that, by the way, because it's easier once I ink it up where to line up the other one. I loved using the Stamparatus for this idea. So I have my flower. I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my second step, we call this two-step stamping, where I'm going to be getting some outline images of my flower. And I found using the bottom, I came out with the perfect result, lining up the bottom with the stamped image. We're gonna go ahead and close our hinge. And then we're gonna ink up this side. Now, you want to create a mask using this because we're gonna be stamping our leaves and we don't want our leaves to stamp on the flower itself. How do you make a mask? Post-it notes. You just pull out a post-it note and I'm lining it up where there's some sticky at the top so that I will have some uh, post-it note adhesive to um, adhere. Now I just realized I'm using yellow and I've already inked up my flower in yellow. So just go with me on the idea. You may not be able to see it as well on the video. 
Oh yeah, you can. All right, so there it is. And then I just take my snips, cut that out. I've already got my, I've already got my template cut out and, and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this up here. Okay. Um, I was trying to use the stems and the leaves and all of that, and I just decided to go ahead and incorporate my blocks with this idea. Um, it works just fine. You'll understand when I'm finished. Now, I am going to line these up because these were my other two leaves that were kind of I was kind of struggling with when I was doing my stamping just with my blocks. So we're going to take this piece, and we're going to flip it around. And we're going to just kind of come off there with some leaves off the top. I'm going to pick it up. And pick up my mask apparently. These photopolymer stamps are pretty sticky. Let me push that down a little bit better. All right, we're going to ink this up with Granny Apple Green. By the way, my flower is Daffodil Delight. That is on my mask. Don't stress. I didn't mess up. Now I'm going to place this one. Like I said, this was one of the ones that I was kind of struggling with on getting it positioned just right. So... Line that up like that. Take my other plate, flip it around. By the way, when you're using these plates, um, I hope this is in the video. You, uh, let me scoot it down a little bit. Let's make sure you can see what I'm saying. When you want to flip the plates around like that, you want to have this at a 90 degree angle. I still get questions on this. If you try to pull it out this way, it won't pull out. You have to have it at 90 degrees, okay? All right, let's grab this. If you want to, I kind of did a few practice sessions on my scrap paper with the leaves because it's, it's a little tricky to get them to line up. But you can do it. There we go. So I don't know if you can tell in the video, it just gives a little softness to the tips of those leaves. Super pretty. All right, we can take off our mask. Maybe some good post-it note stuff. I figured out that for my sentiment, because I already have both sides of my plates, I want to go ahead and just add my sentiment. I'm going to put it right here where I want it. And then I wanted a few little dots. Whoops. Turn it over. like this, pick up a big block, grab them both at the same time. Now my paper moved, but that's okay, because remember, I lined it up with that line on the grid paper. So now we're going to ink up our dots and our sentiment. I did move my magnet that was down here, I moved it up so I wouldn't hit it with the block. So glad we're friends. Now, I want to do my envelopes while I have everything here so that so that the envelope matches up exactly where my flower was stamped. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. Flip my plates around. Ink up my flower. The beauty of the Stamparatus is if you don't stamp completely, you can just re-ink it again. Or if you want a darker image, you could do that as well. Put my mask back on, flip my plates. So remember to think about, remember if you don't have a Stamparatus right now and you're struggling with lining up two-step stamps, don't forget about this video, you could order a Stamparatus from my website 
and it really does make it so much easier to line things up and then you don't have to worry about it. And now my envelope coordinates exactly with my flower and I can just keep on going. The beauty of the Stamparatus is being able to stamp multiples and not have to worry about things, um, about lining things up again. You just flip the plates. There are additional plates and someone sent me a message and said, why would I need additional plates? Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and order the extra plates because I could have my sentiments on another plate and not worry about getting ink everywhere. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order some extra plates. This is great for invitations, Christmas cards, just keep stamping kind of thing. Um, add my little mask, flip my plates. And once you line everything up, you are good to go to just keep stamping. Look how fun. Also, if I had additional plates, I could add these. The reason why I did not continue with different colors and stuff is you'll notice there is ink on my plate and where I would want to stamp the next color, say the purple would be right here, um, I run the risk of getting that other ink on my stamp or things like that. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video on using the Stamparatus and making a ton of cards for your friends. Just in case you're wondering, how do you clean these stamps? Because if you go to pull it off, you're gonna have inky fingers. So Stampin' Up! sells a uh, simple chamois, and it does get stained, don't worry about it. It still does a great job cleaning everything up. And there you go. Now I can pull the stamps off put them away and not have to worry about having inky fingers. If I can ever help you with any of your Stampin' Up! supply needs, let me know. Mm -hmm.